So I'm heading to a place called Point Loma, San Diego. It's like a, a tail that hangs off the San Diego coast, the point facing south. It's just a, a narrow strip of land that holds some historical significance. A guy named Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo first landed here in 1542. And uh, supposedly that was the uh, yeah, discovery of the San Diego coast. As we all know, Native Americans and uh, People from uh, modern-day Mexico, South America, knew about this place a long time before. At least I think they did. But I'm not here in a history lesson. I'm going to see Point Loma. And it's a place that is always brought up as something to visit in San Diego. And I've lived here for several years. So it's about time. But that's not the actual reason. The actual reason is because, I, well, I need a place to ride. I need an excuse. And uh, Point Loma is today's excuse. So let's all settle in, look at the back of an Acura. Hopefully we'll find some more cute utes on the way. See what this place is all about. but I'm not big on tourist attractions typically. Before I had a motorcycle, seeing old buildings or places was the last thing I wanted to do. Just wasn't stimulating enough, but the bike gives you that visceral stimulation, that release of all the good chemicals, the dopamine, the arpinephrine, stuff that gets you fired up. It satisfies that, that part of my character sure most of you as well so when you get that out of your system you can better appreciate your destination certainly since getting on a bike I've seen more places and uh, have much more of a will to explore you've got to enjoy the ride same goes to everything else career daily life you know you're going to sit in traffic for three hours trying to get something or to something whatever it may be you really have to consider whether it's worth it most times it's not because if you're not enjoying the ride the destination really can't be appreciated you're fatigued, pissed probably a headache by the time you get there what's the point? I know in this part of America, we can split, no matter what hits me, if I get with traffic, I'll split through it. And you get there at a reasonable time, it takes that factor away, but a lot of times in California, if you're in a car, you want to get out there, you don't know what you're going to hit. How much of a headache is sitting in front of you? This is one of those mornings I snuck out of the house before my wife and baby are awake. I'm gonna get out there early. You get a family, the best time to be productive is before they're awake. Because by the time they're asleep, all the mojo's been sucked out of you. Not always, but most of the time. life is something that should be admired for its beauty, complexity, mystery, and it's also there to eat if you're hungry. If you're not 
have yet to admire it in its natural state, or if you don't need to eat it. I fail to appreciate the purpose of watching any sort of animal in cage. I think it's uh, a low point of human existence. If you guys want to see nature, then go see nature. You guys, where are you guys going? You guys all going to SeaWorld? Yeah, you could get a SeaWorld crowd in that car there. Yeah. Guarantee you guys are going to be in that cafeteria. Well before noon. Sucking on some Coke and a nasty cheeseburger. Waiting in lines all day. Not for me. <clears throat> I mean, really, is there anything worse than a line on a weekend? I mean, come on. What a Nimitz Boulevard. rare times I'll actually head to the coast because same most true for most parts of the world the coast is where the people live that's that's where the traffic is that's where the vacationers go that's where you wait in lines that's where you can't find a parking spot so I just go the opposite direction that's east around here I head east head for the mountains and the canyons where people most people avoid. Get some freedom. Look at Dusty Rhodes Park. Isn't that a wrestler? Dusty Rhodes. Blonde curly hair. Anyone? Anyone? Could have sworn. Good old Dusty. a confused caravan up there. Let me get ahead of this guy. Tell his family. He's all concerned. <clears throat> oh, it's nice, guys. It's like a nice, cool breeze coming through the sun. It's, uh, it's really perfect. Since I'm very close to the coast, <clears throat> on both sides I am water and open ocean. There's a bay and open ocean there. And when it says, you know, two miles left to go, usually when you see water on both sides of this, it ends very quick. But uh, just underscores the distance of this outpouching of land. There's a lot of naval stuff around here. I'll tell you what, so far, I give it a thumbs up for being barren and not overrun with caravans full of families on a Saturday. It is pretty early, but I'll take it. Nice little road. So what's nice about the Harley, it's more comfortable just kind of chilling. Taking some of the scenery. Look at that. Well, if you're going to be buried, that cemetery is not a bad spot. You got some veterans there on their bikes. spot.
guys, this is where it ends. You see that building right there that's stopping people? It's Saturday. I'm not having any part of that. I'm not paying any fees. Sitting any lines. <laughs>